Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. EA Sports, back at it again with some big content yesterday on Saturday. Fodder is on its way to the moon after a prime icon player pick SBC was released. So no more 92 plus prime or moments pack. Enter the prime icon player pick, which everybody loves icon player picks on this game. This is the perfect SBC for EA to release before team of the season to drain a lot of coins from the market, and it is doing exactly that. I want to take a look at how prices moved. Fodder went up, a lot of meta cards went down, because this takes, again, it's pretty expensive. It takes a lot of coins to get this done. People were selling cards yesterday to get this player pick done, and we had not one, but two Showdown SBCs released yesterday. Now, one was for a very short time frame, because Braithwaite and Suso, that game is today on Sunday, so these SBCs were only out for one day, but a lot of people are hyped up about the Braithwaite. A lot of people are excited about the Richarlison and the crazy boost to Mr. Weghorst, six foot six striker in the Premier League. So we're going to take a look at those cars today and talk about market. And also, there's a lot of there's been a lot of market movements related to the fantasy foot cards um, who have had games, whether they have won, whether they have lost. A lot of these cards have gone down. A couple of them have gone up. Not very many, though. So I want to talk about why these cards have been moving the way that they have been moving over the past day or so. And then again, it's another huge day for football today with more upgrades on the line for fantasy foot and showdown cards uh, with a couple of games from uh, showdowns that have been released already happening today on Sunday. I'll talk about Sunday content as well as a part of this video. We could have some more Icon Moments SBCs players that is being released today on Sunday. So all that inside of today's video, if you're excited for it, hit a thumbs up and of course, subscribe if you're new. Now the big piece of content yesterday, right? We started off talking about it. Was this prime icon player pick? It's just because people love player picks for icons on this game. Everybody just loves player picks. They're addicted to these things, man. I mean, it honestly makes no sense when you go to the SBC section and you look, this has a 77% upvote percentage on footbin for a 750,000 coin SBC for the only the second best version of icons that are available. You know, I know there's a decent amount of prime icons that are over 750,000 coins that are available from this player pick, but in my opinion, this is just EA Sports being so smart and draining so many coins off of the market before a team of the season. I don't think it's really worth it to do this SBC, just completely being honest. Now, I also know that there's a lot of people that have invested in SBC fodder that go in here and they and they click this upvote button to make it look like, you know, people are more excited about this. So I see you, I see right through you fodder traders, but Regardless, it's working because this SBC is making high rated fodder explode. Personally, I've got like two pages of Sergio Ramos on my transfer list that I bought at 27,000 coins. He is 37K. Now, a lot of those cards that are center backs or midfielders or right wings, right mids, I don't even know the, the squad that is the squads that are required for that uh, icon player pick SBC, but the cards that give good chemistry are up extra because look at how much chemistry these squads require. 75 chem, 70 chemistry, 65, 60. This, this is very high chemistry for a lot of these squads. So people are having to buy those center backs, those center midfielders, and those cards specifically are seeing a higher rise on the market because you need that high level of chemistry in this SBC and it makes this SBC more expensive and harder to do, and that makes certain areas of SBC fodder going up faster and further than the rest of it. Now, speaking about fodder once more, I think that if you've bought SBC fodder, you're still holding. I know some of you guys may have sold a little bit yesterday. This SBC, the Prime Icon Player Pick, is repeatable again on Monday, right? You could only do it one time, but it's going to be repeatable again on Monday after Weekend League Rewards, after people maybe have gone out and done some 75 plus times fives, and they get some more coins from Weekend League Rewards. So I'm holding my fodder because we don't really see a lot of supply for this stuff. Uh, we're not thinking that we're going to see a lot of supply throughout this week. There's nothing in packs right now. EA is not running lightning rounds. There really is not going to be that much supply. So as this SBC is, again, repeatable and they drop more of the showdown SBCs uh, through this weekend, throughout this week, there's just a lot more demand and not that much supply. So in theory, these cards are just going to continue to go up in price. List for lazies is what I would say right now. And especially if you're somebody who invested in 84s or 85s, like, okay, my cards are up like one to 2,000 coins a piece, but, you know, 85s aren't 11K like we thought they were going to be. 
just hold on, right? It is not over yet. There is still more content to come later on this week. So if you have fodder, I'm holding. I'm listing for lazies. Now, here's my tip. For listing for lazies, don't list like 50 or 60 cards at a time if you have that many. I was listing, I have like five or six Ramos that I'm listing at a time right now at 50K. All these ones at 33 were from yesterday. But look, I got a current a lazy bid at 49,000 coins for a card that currently sells at 37K, right? I've got four of these, three of these listed right here. I need to relist one of them because I was running like a set of four of them. Uh, boom, okay, I guess I have five. But that's that's kind of how I do it. I'm not listing 50 or 60 cards at a time. List a couple of them and then space them out if you want to be that, I guess, um, picky with it or that you want to kind of monitor your transfer list that much like i have a bunch of other sergio ramos is still on my transfer list here okay not as many as i used to have they're starting to sell for lazies but you know maybe if i was to list a few of them up i'd wait 10 20 minutes list another few of them up that's kind of how i would do the lazy sales not just spam all of them up at once um you know that's kind of how i would do that so just keep an eye on that and good luck selling your fodder because you're going to have a lot of time to do it this next week in my opinion um as a lot of these great sbcs are out and that's the focus of this promo right the sbcs are the focus now speaking of sbcs again yesterday we have to talk about the new showdowns Braith white and suso if you guys are making a quick decision on whether or not you should do one of these obviously barcelona is hot at the moment winning a lot of the last few games coming back after international break though it always is a bit interesting uh but break white first special card in the year four star four star pretty pretty solid boost really good looking card i'm almost wanting to do this just for the vibes um and just for again i love how showdowns the cards that get showdowns are ones that haven't had barely any special cards this year. I just love how they're so different. I think the price here on this Braith White is a little bit inflated. I think that all of the SBCs from yesterday were just a little bit inflated. But, you know, 150k for Suso is pretty solid. If you, if you need a right winger in, the La, in your La Liga team, I mean, this card looks very, very meta and very, very good. So if you're a Sevilla fan, you're hoping he gets the upgrade, and he hopes, for, especially for your meta squad. Braith White looks pretty solid as a striker, of course. Then the other ones from yesterday, a little bit of Prem Tax involved here, I think. Richarlison and Weghorst both being 300,000 coins apiece. Two teams towards the bottom of the Premier League table, but also Richarlison hasn't had a special card this year. He's always kind of a FIFA favorite to get specials towards the end of the year. That five-star weak foot is nice. I mean, yeah, it's going to be a nice, solid card to use as a Premier League striker, but it needs that upgrade. Yeah, it needs that upgrade. I'm more interested in this card because regardless of whether or not Burnley end up winning this game, this Weghorst is just different. It's just cool. Like, they're making a... This guy was two-star skills, three-star weak foot, and they boost him to 4-4, four, four, high, high work rates. I mean, 90 agility and 84 balance. I know you guys have looked over this, but can we just... Can we just give a round of applause to EA Sports for making a card that it was just so unusable before? Usable? Like, look at this boost. Plus 40 balance, plus 28 agility, plus 29 acceleration, and 30 sprint speed. Like, GG's EA Sports. I mean, if you want to just try to throw in some crosses and have some fun, I mean, 311,000 coins, if he potentially gets upgraded, it's going to be even more cracked. I kind of want to get this card done just for fun, man. Toss him up at striker. Throw some uh, some balls into the box with Team of the Year Messi and see if Weghorst can slam dunk them in with some headers. So this to me is just kind of a fun card. I dig this content, right? Putting a card in the game, he's probably not going to get any more specials for this entire year. Burnley fans are absolutely loving this. And that's, again, how I feel about this promo. I love every bit of it because these cards that are getting specials, you know, it's nice to have them. And the prices aren't exorbitant. They're not super duper expensive. They're just... They're just it's a little bit expensive, right? But they have that potential to upgrade as well. And again, as we mentioned today, especially for McKenney, Brozovic, and then Braithwaite and Suso, those games are today on Sunday. So there's some big time football happening today and more fantasy foot cards are going to be moving on the market as well. Speaking of those live games, let's look at some fantasy foot cards that moved on the market yesterday because of their games. Now, more cards went down then went up, right? Again, I sold a Bamba at 360,000 coins yesterday pre-game. Selling in the hype. We've been talking about it this whole entire week. Sell in the hype if you have these cards. If they're playing today, you know, if you have like a Lucas Mora, I would, you know, sell in the hype. Even though I believe in my Spurs, you, you know, these price drops are really, really real. Take a look at Bamba from 360 back down to 300,000 coins. Now, there was a plethora of cards yesterday that got no upgrades, a few that got plus one, and only one card from yesterday that gets getting a plus two. And of course, it's the boy, Christian Erickson. 
the brother from another mother, getting a plus two because he scored a goal and Brentford beat Chelsea four to one. Goodness gracious, what a game. Anyways, 90 Erickson's going to go to a 92. This is the best mistake that EA have ever made, and it keeps getting better, right? He's going to get a plus two whenever these upgrades are going to play out. Not entirely sure when EA is going to do this. Again, I think it's on Wednesday, but he is the only plus two from yesterday. It might be kind of hard to see all the cards that are in this list here on this graphic, but I'll put a link to this down below in the description. Guys that got plus ones from yesterday, Jimenez with the Atletico win. Uh, let's see over here on the left. Klosterman is going to get a plus one. Malin, the SBC that is still alive, going to get himself a plus one for his game. Hinka P right down here. You're uh, everybody's favorite Bundesliga center back right now. Plus one for him. Jose Sa plus one. Alvarez plus one. And I think that's about it. Again, only a handful of cards getting upgraded after yesterday's games with a lot of players like Rashford playing the game, not winning, right? There's no upgrade for that. Coutinho played, but didn't win. Nani played, but did not win. So a lot of those cards that you saw actually went down in price a little bit. Now, not many of them dropped like crazy, but you did see some decent drops, right? Again, we take a look at team one of Foot Fantasy as well. Um, you know, Nani is down a little bit. Kamavinga went down almost 100,000 coins before bouncing back up a little bit. This was the common trend yesterday, right? Kamavinga 660, all the way down to 550. Now he's back up to 600,000 coins, right? Nice fluctuation there after the panic selling. Now, I bought some John Stones after he was panic sold because John Stones went from 550, or he's at 590, 600K. He didn't start, and uh, he went all the way down to 467,000 coins post-game and then to only rise back up to 500K where he is right now. So not a huge rise back on that card there. Um, now, you have the other side of the coin too, right? You're like, mate, Christian Eriksen went up 20,000 coins yesterday because of this plus two, right? That's He went up 20,000 coins. So the only reason you're gonna see these cards explode is if uh, they get a plus two upgrade first day. So for the games that are happening today, like I know off the top of my head, St. Max and, and Newcastle are playing against my boys, Tottenham Hotspur, Lucas Moura, right? Again, this card, this is not a million coin card. Again, you compare this to John Sa Jaden Sancho, foot birthday card, who's 900K. This card's five star, five star, incredibly more meta than Lucas Moura is, just because of that five star, five star aspect. This card is seriously good in this game, but again, the upgrade and the hype is built into an item like this. That's why we're selling into the hype. So I would heed that advice really, really spot on today. If you have any of these cards, I don't have any of these still. I actually kind of lucked out. I, I didn't plan this, but when I bought Martinelli last week, um, I didn't know that Arsenal played on Monday. So I'm still holding my Martinelli's, but this is going to be the type of card where, you know, with Arsenal playing Crystal Palace, maybe I'll chance it just in case. But, you know, I'm probably going to sell 90% of the Martinelli's that I have, which I think I have like six or seven of them. I'm probably going to sell all this dude at like 620K, hopefully, if I can get that price. That's up 100,000 coins where I bought him from, and I'm just going to continue to let him get rare um, and probably start to sell those off, um, you know, before the game on Monday. That's going to be my plan of action for a card like this, uh, or if you have any of those, or maybe if you have somebody who's playing in a game today, that's kind of the safe route and the safe way to go about it, especially, again, the other thing you have to consider is that that team of the season news, whenever those leaks are coming out, um, we'll maybe talk more about that later on this week when I think that might be, but we're not very far from it. So all of those things considered, that's why I would I would really look to sell in the hype again for more of those games coming up today or tomorrow um, for those fantasy foot cards. So that's kind of what's going on with the market. Now, one thing I also have to talk about with the market is you know, this is going back to the Prime Icon SBC. Some of you guys are like, man, Nate, a lot of cards are actually down a lot of value. And I was meaning to talk about this at the beginning of the video when we looked at the Prime Icon Player Pick SBC. But a lot of cards are down in value. That is the fact because you had a lot of people go out again yesterday and want to do that SBC and they had to sell some cards, right? The, the, the market's been pretty stagnant, right? Kind of high, just kind of floating, right? Even though we've had these really expensive cards that have been out, the market really hasn't dropped yet. We are entering that time later on this week, even to next week, 100% for me, is when you're going to start to see these prices start to fall off. But yesterday with a big time Icon SBC, like the player pick that we had, like look at these panic sales that you had, right? And Mbappe was 500K. So the combination of three, or four, two showdowns, so four showdown cards, I can't count, four showdown cards being released yesterday and the Prime Icon player pick, which again, like I said, people absolutely love those. He went all the way down to 417,000 coins, 
has rebounded back up to 446. Even a guy like Flip Birthday Fakir was 451, went down to 392, and went back up to 419. I think you'll see a few of these cards rise back up again. Like you might see Fakir back to five, uh, 430, 440. Um, just in as, as an example, like after weekly rewards on Monday, that's maybe when I would take a look at cashing out on a few of these cards on this market. Because again, once that player pick becomes available, again, just imagine how much market chaos would have happened yesterday if this prime icon player pick would have been repeatable more times than one. Now people have a couple days where they can say, oh, okay, this is going to be repeatable again on Monday after I get weekly rewards. So I'm going to save up fodder, do 75 times five packs to get ready to do this again on Monday. So for other people on the market, I'm going to be looking to cash out on some of those cards, you know, after that rewards time frame on Monday, since that usually is a time where you see the market rise up a little bit in value across the whole market, right? That's honestly when I'm taking a look at selling some of these guys too. I might hold on to a Kyle Walker or two, but man, this guy has gone up so much in just two days. Like he was 400K instantly to 450 out of packs. Even on these cards, they dropped yesterday, right? Kyle Walker was 466, went down to 435, then back to 450 where he is now. I think Tiago, um, well, he's 520, but he was down at like 480 again, right? I bought this card at 480 on Friday. He was 527, went back down to 490 in the 40s for a quick second and is now rebounding back up again. So, you know, that's the kind of, you know, mindset that I would have this weekend. If you are trying to get out of some cards, I would say today, tomorrow, maybe Tuesday at the latest. I, I just think that when we see that prime icon be repeatable again, you're going to see some more panic on the market on Monday after content drops. So that's kind of, I think, how... Um, I imagine this whole thing to play out this week market wise. And that's probably what I'm going to do with a lot of my investments is get out of them still this weekend. I, I did buy some Barellas and some Maitland Niles. I'm going to hold on to the Maitland Niles, I think, because again, we still have a leak uh, for a Kent and it's going to be pretty difficult to link that Kent card. But since he does have the English nationality links, I might hold on to these a little bit. I'm pretty sure I got Maitland Niles pretty low on that one right there. But I think this guy might be back up. Um, after all the panic selling from the um, SBC for Brozovic and McKenney, I think he might be back up like to 130s. Yeah, I think he's in like the 130 ranges now instead of the 120s where he was before. So yeah, 134, 135. You know, I, I think I'm going to hold on to that card as well. I just don't see a, a lot of panic coming to the market again until Monday. And we'll talk more about that in tomorrow's video for sure as we get really close to that time frame. But let's talk today content, right? Because as a part of this showdown series promo, we were told that we were getting daily uh, showdown content. It says, watch out for daily showdown content until Thursday, April 7th. Now, what showdown are we gonna see today? Because there's not, it doesn't, there's no leaked showdowns for the Arsenal Crystal Palace game on Monday. And other than that game, there's not too many other ones going on. The next games that we would potentially have for the leaks uh, would be on Wednesday, actually. We don't have any leak showdowns for Tuesday's games. So I'm curious to see which ones EA are going to start releasing. But Aurier and Pavard was one of the earlier ones that we had leaked earlier on. So this could be an SBC that we see coming today or maybe tomorrow on Monday. But this would want be one of the next ones I would imagine we would see in this game. Uh, of course, a French right back would get a lot of people very, very interested in a card like this Pavard. And of course, he does have the low high work rates, which we looked at last week when this league came out. But again, seeing how they changed so much with this Wega Horse card um, before, um, did they change his work rates? Okay, he was high high before. But with such a big boost that they made to this item, making him 4-4 from being 2-3 and, uh, you know, the insane stat boost that they had given this item, you know, I really think that they could, they could do a lot. They could do a lot to a Pavard card. Maybe if they made him high low or... or um, you know, he'd be high, high, actually, instead of uh, low, high. But I don't know what e if EA is going to do a lot with that Pavard. But I think they're going to juice him up. I think they would juice up Pavard. I think they would juice up Aurier pretty well. I kind of want to do both of these, if I'm being completely honest. Because Aurier links to my Lo Celso for the past and present Spurs team that we are kind of halfway building at the moment. Um, with those two cards right there, both being in La Liga. But, you know, that's maybe what we're going to have content-wise today. And then also, I think we might have the second Sunday in a row of icon player SBCs. This is not confirmed or, or leaked or anything like that. All that's been leaked is we have 
two more names, Del Piero and Schmeichel. Those might be our content for today. I'm honestly expecting today to be a bit slower, uh, a bit slower of a day content wise. So, you know, yesterday was our exciting Saturday. I think it's going to slow down today. A lot of hype again. Uh, we'll, f we'll focus around whatever showdown is released and then whatever's happening on the market and potential upgrades for Brozovic, McKenney, Braith White, and Suso. That's going to be all the hype and what everybody is watching today on the market and on the game of FIFA 22. So if you're like Nate, I don't have any fodder. What in the world can I do right now? The 75 plus times five is it does cost some coins, but it's really, really cheap. And it, you know what? It's really craftable. And seriously, I know we've talked about it, but this is a car. This is a pack that we really need to save up for team of the season with the way that it's been giving out pretty good fodder. Can you win these on bid for um, 450? Are you serious, man? No way. Can you actually bid on non rares and win them? For cheap, I thought non-rares were going to be expensive because of um, they were on Friday pretty expensive. But if these actually go through, I'd be surprised. If I win this for 300 on bid, I'd be shocked. Anyways, maybe the 75 plus times 5. Okay, yeah, there, there I get out bid at 500. So it looks like maybe 450 to 500 for some of these cards might be what you have to pay uh, to get the non-rares in. Uh, to get that SBC done. But I think this is just such a craftable SBC. Pack weights for fodder seems to be decently up right now. There's just not very many packs being opened. So, you know, give a couple of these a try. Maybe it might help you craft a couple of these showdown SBCs. Like I have some fodder in the club. I'm probably going to do Braithwaite straight away. And then I think I'm going to do Wake Horse in the next three days. Um, you know, being careful with my fodder until then. You're not going to see me do the prime icon player pick. I said no to the 92 plus primer moments. I'm going to say no to this as well. 700,000 coins. Think about how many coins, like how you, you could do like three showdown SBCs for the price of that one prime icon player pick right now. You could do like Braith White, Suso, and Richarlison or Weghorst for the same price and get three cards um, instead of a choice of one of three, which, you know, you might have like prime gigs, prime skulls, and prime Lampard in your player pick. And then you're like, man, that was not a, way, a, a good use of my fodder. So as a more conservative um, gambler on the FIFA Ultimate Team game, I would say go with some of these showdowns. You got the potential upgrades and cards that never get specials in this game getting some special items. So I'm a big fan of that. But that's kind of the video for today, boys. Again, if you have not done this Yarmolenko versus Tiago Mendes showdown and you're done with your weekend league games, maybe give that a shout as well. Um, and it is really easy to get done. And two really great cards, one of which could become a 90 rated for fodder purposes later on down the line or just a great card for your untradeable team. Great card collecting time right now on the game of FIFA 22. So that's going to be the video for today, boys. If you did enjoy it, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. Good luck with your weekend leagues. Have a happy Sunday. It's been Nate, the Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.